And as a bonus, by the way, number one on trending in the world, number two on trending for gaming. Crazy. This is the number one watched video on YouTube. That's crazy. <laughs> Later. Where's my dragon type EV? I want it. IGN first for the month of June 2022 is all about Sonic Frontiers. We've got gameplay, we've got previews, and we've got interviews from the developers who Let me know if you guys happen. can hear it. All month long, we'll be diving deep into what you can expect when the game makes its way to you Sianic. later down the road. First up, we've got the world premiere gameplay focusing on exploring the mysterious island Look, that he's Sonic digital suddenly now. finds himself stranded on at the start of the game. Be sure to stick with IGN throughout June so you don't miss anything. Until then, here's your first look at gameplay from Sonic Wow, that's Frontiers. pretty. Can I just say... You know, I'll, you know what? I'll show you later. There's a better shot for this. Oh, this is like actual just gameplay. I'll let you guys experience Happening, yo, Galate Var. We're just checking out the new, apparently, gameplay trailer for the new Sonic open world game. I'll be honest, this looks much better <laughs> than I than I thought it would. I did not have, I did not expect the animations to actually function. I'm hot off the heels of... Well, I guess not hot off the heel. The last thing I remember is Sonic Boom. And uh, Sonic uh, Mania. Like, there's no way they can animate this, right? It's pretty. It's pretty, and Sonic doesn't look horribly broken. This is painful. There we go. Alright, well, that's still a little broken. <laughs> <laughs> as long as there's chow, right? Like, what happened? Whatever happened to the chow in these games? Why has Why has Sega just disowned the chow as a concept? Where's our chow garden? That would be like one of the most money-making mobile games on the market. If they had Gotcha Chow Garden, they'd be they'd be rich. Why do they hate money and us? <laughs> ah, it looks weird. I just I can't get over it. Here, look at this. Like it, I, it's so weird having a realistic world setting, and just having Sonic levels in the middle of it. It's so weird. Right? Like, I just can't get over it. Just having a realistic world with, like, this grass and everything, and then just having this? It, it's weird. 36. Like, does this not look weird to you guys? This looks weird to me. It's weird. It's weird just having a real world. Like, this is fine. The boost pads, like, that's fine. That's Sonic. It happens, right? But having just, like, the loops and the little, like, roads and corkscrews and everything just around. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird just having that right next to a real tree. It bothers me. Doesn't feel right. The world looks awfully empty. I'll say that. It doesn't seem like there's much to do yet. I'm not sure what the point of the game is. Like, it looks like even emptier than Breath of the Wild. I don't know if that's like pop-in, if that's loading, if the game's just not done yet, if it's just an alpha. I don't know. See, so like here we have like this, a sign. I don't know what that does. Floating obstacles. Yeah, it's weird. Nothing makes sense. It just has a weird outline. It looks, it looks wrong. Uh, this reminds me of one of the hourglasses from Sonic Adventure 2. So that's an interesting design. That's a choice. Maybe there'll be time trials around the world or something. I don't know. It'll be like challenges that you have to complete in a certain amount of time. 
homing attack, classic, it's going to be terrifying because <laughs> Sonic games are notorious for having really bad homing attacks and needing to homing attack just a random floating object right over a death pit is not great. <laughs> they made it an island because Sonic can't swim, the classic, so he can't get away. Even though he can run on water, but we'll ignore that. Oh, that ro those rocks just decided they didn't want to live anymore. Is that Sonic? Oh my gosh! Have my children! <laughs> Fell over. That's the closest thing to an enemy I assume we're gonna see. Oh, it actually it actually is a threat! Look at that! It actually just launches itself at your position. He's gonna stomp so that you're not just in airtime for a million years. A seamless wall jump, wall jump, wall run transition. There we go. Trick hoops, love those. No fall damage, as far as I can tell. Very useful for just running around the world. It's pretty. It's fun to navigate. I'll give them that. Just moving from one one Sonic obstacle to the next. He was like, "There's a spring. There's a dash. There's a loop." There's some rings. But what is there to actually do? What's your goal? Do I need to like turn this? Can I, can I turn it? Do we have Breath of the Wild style puzzles? How did we do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> so we, Sonic didn't even touch it. How did we do that? What? <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with having puzzles. I love that. If they just remake Breath of the Wild as Sonic, I'm very happy with that, but... We, we haven't really been given any knowledge. That's awesome. That's cool puzzle solving. I love that. This... This looks surprisingly fun. As a Breath of the Wild fan and not a Sonic... Not someone who's good at Sonic games. This looks really fun. Just wandering around trying to figure out how you interact with the world. The 2D signs are kind of jarring. I would almost like it if those were part of the HUD instead or something. Finally, trash the Sonic Island. Finally. Is there a customizable mode for the community? That'd be great. I. You know what? I don't know what moderates are capable of anymore. Yeah, who knows? That they've done things that I couldn't even imagine. It would be possible as a mod. I don't know how they would add sections to the world. But I wouldn't be surprised if they tried. People have remade entire levels from Sonic Unleashed into other games. So far be it for me to assume that they wouldn't be able to just put entire Sonic games in this game. Because they would. I know they would. <laughs> Whether or not Sega lets them. <laughs> they'll do it. I guarantee you someone's thinking about putting in Sonic Mania levels right now. Alright, this looks like a puzzle. I guess I stomp on the diamond, maybe? Oh, just touch it. So it's a walking puzzle. I have to touch them all. Yeah, okay. It looks fantastical. It does look awesome. Up, down, 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 and around. Right, left. There we go. Nailed it. Bit of a long cutscene. I would hope they could cut that down to about half. Or at least let you walk during it so you can get closer to it. Red mail puzzle. Gotta go feed. Just like a checkpoint system, maybe? That's annoying. <laughs> That's already as annoying as the Koroks. <laughs> Shut up! Give me the nut! Go away! Shut up! Shut up! I don't care! I've done this 800 times! I don't care! It looks like a tech demo. It kind of does look like a tech demo. He doesn't have enough momentum. I don't really care. It's... It's...
I don't know. <laughs> we haven't been given enough knowledge. What? Why are we collecting spiky hearts? Is like how varied are the puzzles gonna be? Because you know, at the moment we've been given like maybe four, and this world is huge. <laughs> so like in terms of like we we could expect the number of spiky hearts that we see there to be equivalent to like the number of shrines in Breath of the Wild. Like there's probably gonna be like triple digits. That's gonna get real old if there's only like eight different kinds. <laughs> They really need to all be unique. There's no progression system. It doesn't look like there's a progression system. The spiky hearts might mean something. Like, they might be some way to upgrade your character, like Breath of the Wild. But I don't know anything else. Looks great, though. Gotta give him that. This is a great basis for a game. But... But, to be fair, we also haven't been even... They haven't even hinted at um, a, a release date. So this might be something that's like a year out still. It's a great base. This looks like a great base for a game so far. There's not enough for me to be convinced that this is a good game yet. But it's definitely the good base of the game. <laughs> yeah, it feels kind of alpha -y. Yeah, there's also really no enemies, which is kind of odd. We saw one. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, why you gotta do them like that? That's rough. <laughs> These people are funny. Wouldn't buy it off that? Yeah. No, I wouldn't either. I still don't trust it. I don't trust that they're not just going to fumble it. <laughs> they're always going to fumble it somewhere. Yeah, this 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 definitely as it is would work well if it was like story driven. You were just like running from place to place, getting cutscenes to trigger. But that's not really how Sonic works. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. We'll see. Potential was had. Potential was had this day. Happy to see that it's not just trash. <laughs> That's always good. Only I only really saw one glitchy thing, and that was just when wa Sonic was walking slow. His like walking speed didn't match his actual movement. But that generally happens to every game. It's just more pronounced here because it's Sonic, and he has very like obvious um, walking animation. Need some NPCs? Yeah, that's also true. It's very empty. It's very empty. The The music is light. The sound effects are good. But nothing's really happening. Which I'm fine with when it comes to solving the puzzles. But there needs to be other things. This is a great game that you would play for like maybe a couple hours right now. It just needs stuff to do. I don't I don't know what you're doing in this game. I don't know what the point is. I don't know what what goals we have. We haven't really been given any anything. <laughs> but it's nice that we got gameplay. So at least we know that the very bare bones of the game aren't bad. I think that's good. Can we get Big the Cat? That's terrifying. Yo, imagine if we could switch characters. That would be dope. That also would be what killed Sonic Boom. So maybe we shouldn't have that. <laughs> The last thing we need is them trying to program eight different characters and they can't even program one. We'll save that for the sequel. Sonic Frontiers 2, then we can have all the different characters. Save that for the sequel. Can you hear my distrust? I don't, I don't trust them. 
<laughs> it's exactly the same as like Choctopus's video. I'm worried about Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> I don't like Sonic Frontiers. Like, yeah, I don't trust it either. <laughs> but I'm I'm optimistic. I'm tentatively optimistic. Gosh, if it wasn't so hot, I would be much more excited about turning on. Should I end the stream so that this part can be highlighted? Yeah, I'll, I'll think I turn it back on to play my dailies. I think I'll do my dailies on stream. But I am going to end stream real quick so that I can just like separate that section 